and welcome once again to the Funnel Forecast. I'm here with Tony Funnel, Bournemouth legend, and we're going to go through the fixtures for the next game week. Uh, last game week, Tony, pretty impressive score. How many did you get? Yes, 8 out of 10. But, honest to God, I'd rather have got 5 out of 10 and had Bournemouth winning, which they should have done, really. Yeah, what do you think... Everyone knows. What do you think is the main reason that Bournemouth didn't win that game? Far. Everyone likes Far if it goes for them. Mm. But I think overall, it's causing too many problems. Yeah. And, you know, it was embarrassing to watch a Bournemouth game and see um, Bournemouth go completely the full length of the pitch, great move, score a goal, mm. and then the other team get a penalty. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, completely broke up the flow of the game, didn't it? And you have to question whether the referee... What, what is the referee's job if he's just being told what to do in his ear? I know, that's right, yeah. I mean, he, he should have been able to say over the mic, look, I've got this, I don't need VAR. Yeah. Completely. Anyway, we won't dwell on it too much. We've got some good fixtures coming up yeah. the next game week. Uh, so let's kick off straight away with Norwich against Leicester City, and that's on the Friday night. I'm going for a Leicester win. Away win for Leicester. Lovely. Okay. And then we've got Brighton against Crystal Palace. That's going to be the early half past 12 kickoff. I'm going for a draw. Sort of a bit of a derby, that one, isn't it? They pretend sometimes. They always say that's a derby, yeah. Because they're not too far apart, really. Uh, and then, I'll be at this one, uh, Bournemouth against Chelsea at Bournemouth. Yeah, this is not because I want Bournemouth all the time. No. But the way they started that game against Burnley and the way they were attacking going forward, that's when all Bournemouth supporters know they're a threat to any team in yeah. the Premier Division. So um, definitely after Saturday, I know we lost at the end of the game, but that was freak what happened. Bournemouth to beat Chelsea. Fantastic. And then we've got Newcastle United against Burnley. I'm going to go for an away win for Burnley. Yeah, Burnley, I think, have like four on the spin or five on the yeah, spin. and A great run, but Bournemouth had them all over the place. They were at sixes and sevens yeah. at the very start of that game. And if Bournemouth had gone 2 nil up, it would have been a completely different story. West Ham against Southampton. That's going to be at West Ham. I'm going to go for a draw for that game. And then uh, we've got our later kickoff. So the Watford against Liverpool at half past five. I'm going for a Liverpool win. Did you see the Liverpool West Ham? Any any of that? No, I didn't. No, it was West Ham ran them close. They did say I did hear reports saying that West Ham had ever so well. I, I saw the the goals coming in, yeah, but I didn't actually watch the game. I think that'd be interesting to see how whether now other teams think that maybe there's a chance to get at Liverpool. Yeah, in Watford's case, I don't. I can't really see that happening. Um, when I've watched um, Watford recently, like Troy Deeney's their striker, mm. does so much work for them around the halfway line and back. Yeah. So I never sort of worry too much because I think, well, he ain't going to have too much energy up front if he's doing all that work there. So I can't really see Liverpool having a problem there. And then we move to the Sunday and we've got Everton against Manchester United. Yeah, Everton... They're up and down with their results. Always scoring goals, but I think Man United to win that game. And Tottenham against Wolves is the final fixture of this weekend. This might be a tricky fixture, but I'm going to go for Tottenham to win that game. And Tony, you got eight out of the ten last week, didn't you? Yes. We've only got eight fixtures this week. Right. You're hoping I'm going to say I'm going to go for eight. <laughs> yeah, let's go for all eight. All eight, we're predicting all eight fixtures right. Put your bets on, let's go for it. Put your bets on, let's go for it. I love that, great optimism. Right, well, that's it for us for today. Thank you ever so much, Tony. Cheers. And we'll see you soon for the funnel forecasts. Adios. And the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from funnel. From funnel. From funnel.